Well, back on with a long play game. As usual, just playing our usual chests, and I'm going to hit this pawn in the center. A serious player. Okay, they're taking the time. Simply capture and capture. And let's just capture, attack the queen. See, it's very rare you see something like this playing over the board you know these simple captures taking you know whip 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 um as, as i've mentioned it makes you look good you know you're doing it and you feel good you know it's like well okay but then when you're playing over the board they don't necessarily play as simple as that and uh, so it gives you a bit of false false what's the word abilities or whatever it is um false belief in your this pawn is protecting that knight so we can just bring the bishop and protect the pawn but it's a nice way to practice your move you know practice your moves and your strategies and and if you're playing like um you know high level players obviously even then they make mistakes as well they, they may go for simplification so but if you're playing the the higher ones then it does toughen up your game a little bit as well because not all of them are going to go basic i mean this guy here now targeting like crazy yeah so now we've got lots of things to think about yeah we're going to lose this pawn um what's going to happen with this pawn cap bring the bishop back here because then that pawn's going to be taken okay so we could attack his bishop so we're losing the pawn anyway is there something else that we can do? Any attacks on his knight? Or shall we just go and castle? Because we're losing the pawn anyway. Let's attack him. Ooh, I was going to go here, but there's no point doing that, is there? Because he'll just drop this pawn and this pawn can't take. So he's got a two on one now on this pawn. Right, so he's giving us a bit of a master class here. It's giving us a bit of a master class. Definitely getting schooled and the speed at which they're playing as well. Yeah. Okay. Fair dues. Obviously, I'm not taking that because the Fisher Spassky thing. We have just got schooled. I don't know why they did that. Do, do, do. And we got here very quickly for a long play game. I don't think any of the games that we've played long play have gone past 15 minutes, I don't think. He's going for the trade now because he's plus one. Yep.
Well, that was a bit lucky, wasn't it? Yeah, it's odd. I, don't, I, I think I totally messed that up, I think. They were winning big style. Where is it? Now, when he starts bringing his king across, then he's winning. Why is it showing not winning so much? That's interesting. It's not like staying a draw. So we moved up, and then I thought, it's showing a draw. Shame, maybe I was wrong. I thought he could come across here. Ouch. Then we can take his bishop, can't we? Ah, that's why. Yeah, but, 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 if he moves his pawn down. Imagine we've still got a bishop, haven't we? And then the take. Mm, I'm not too sure about that. Not too sure about that because it can be peeling off all the. Oh, mind you, know the bishop can come and stop here, can't it? That's fine. Right, that's a different look on things, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. A draw's fair enough then. After all of that.